Okay, so this is the first day of our MTT assay. I've already looked at my cells under the microscope. I noted the color of the media. It is fairly orange, so the cells are running out of nutrients, but I'm about to use them, so that's great. And it's not cloudy at all. So I'm going to start just like we did for splitting cells and counting cells, and I'm going to vacuum off the media. Okay, so I just counted all of my cells. My counts are right here. And I took the average of these counts and got 86.75. And 86.75 times 10 to the fourth cells per milliliter is what that gives me. So up here, I know that our concentration of cells we want per well is 2.5 times 10 to the fifth. And I'm doing 12 wells, but I want to calculate for one extra. So I did my concentration times 13 wells equals 3.25 times 10 to the 6 cells total that I need. So I'm going to take that total number of cells that I need and divide by our average. And that's going to tell me how many milliliters I need to take from the flask. And I got 3.7 milliliters. And we need 2.5 milliliters per each well. And remember we're calculating for 13 so we have extra. That gives me a total of 32.5 milliliters. So if I have 3.7 milliliters of the cells, that means I need to add 28.8 milliliters of media in order to get my total volume. Okay, so I'm gonna put my cells and media into this centrifuge tube. I'm gonna put the media in first because you always wanna give the cells something to go into. So it was 28.8 milliliters of media. and then 3.7 milliliters from my cells. Remember, it's easier to turn with the numbers going up. Plate underneath the hood. It's a good idea to go ahead and label the side before you put anything in it so that you don't have to worry about spilling any of it. Initials, date, what you're doing. All right. No. 
now. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure this is mixed up nicely and then I'm gonna put two and a half milliliters in each of my 12 wells. Make sure the cover is on. <laughs> All right, so once you're done with that, just cover them up and put them in the incubator and then by the next day all the cells will be adhered to the bottom of the flask.